Um, the Houston Public Library isn't sugarcoating anything. They admit they messed up here and they've apologized. But the organization that brought this whole thing to our attention says they need a whole lot more than that. This is Albert Garza, a registered child sex offender, convicted in 2008 for molesting an eight-year-old boy. This is also him, Tatiana Malanina, his drag queen alter ego. This is who's been reading to kids at Houston Public Libraries since last year. Who exactly are the people who are using their stage names in the library because the public doesn't know who they are? Tracy Shannon is with Mass Resistance, an organization dedicated to ending the Drag Queen Storytime program in Houston, saying it sends a harmful and sexual message. But Storytime organizers say it promotes tolerance and diversity. Shame on these individuals in this building behind me. Mass Resistance claims it's been asking the city for months to disclose information about the drag queens. And when requests went unanswered, they did their own digging and made the shocking link. If they had done their job in due diligence, if they had said, wait, maybe not a good idea to have a sex offender who at 200 pounds and five foot 11 assaulted an eight year old boy a statement from the Houston Public Library says, in part, we failed to complete a background check as required by our own guidelines. We deeply regret this oversight. No participant is ever alone with children. We are here today upset and concerned. But protesters want more than apologies. They want heads to roll. Most children would not allow that individual to sit in this library, That's right. sashay in, and be held up as a role model to our children. Sick. The library also says that it is taking action, making sure that everybody involved in their programs is background checked. They also say they have not gotten any complaints of inappropriate behavior. You can read the library's full statement on our website, pageweek.com.